I believe in God, God the Father, Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He went to the dead. On the third day, he rose again, and entered into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life eternal. are so bold as to share in the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Oh, excuse me, I see prayers of the people. Do, do you all often, um, do you have a prayer list or help me out here being a, uh, a visitor? There's a prayer list in the back. Join me in this time Gracious and loving God, help us to recognize your presence dwelling among us wherever we happen to find ourselves, both in this holy place that we gather to share your word with one another, at home, in our communities, and with family. We pray for the needs of the entire world, those places that face conflict and turmoil and all sorts of trouble. Lord God, may your presence be known and felt where you are needed most. We pray for our own nation, the United States of America. We pray for our president and for Congress and judges and local officials, all those who are serving in harm's way, both in our local communities and far from home. We pray in a special way for the United Church of Christ as the church as an entire body gathers together this week to conduct business, to meet and to celebrate and to worship together. We pray in a special way for our own community here at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Woodstock, for all those who are listed on our prayers and for those that we hold in our hearts. We lift up now our own prayers in our own words. We gather these prayers, those that are spoken and those that are kept in the silence of our hearts, into the one prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and power, and glory, and glory. that we bring to this place to continue the work in the ministry here in this community and throughout the entire world. We ask this through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ.
bless you and keep you. Go from this place and know that the presence of the Lord continues to dwell with you. Have a quick read. You do the same.